Hey everyone, before we kick things off, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you'll love this channel. Chris is the biggest Trump supporter you'll ever come across. If you don't believe me, just check out his videos. They're not just about Trump, they're seriously next level. Chris doesn't just, just sit back and let AI do all the heavy lifting. He's a pro working with six advanced programs that he's mastered over the years to bring his videos to life. Check out the comment section. Thousands of folks blown away by how good they are, calling them masterpieces. And honestly, there's no one else online doing what Chris does, creating stories with this kind of passion and skill. All you'll see elsewhere are mis little AI dance videos that can be created by anyone with a click of a button. Now, let's carry on with our plans to bring back America to even better than what it was before these Democrats ruined it. Welcome to the future is now, where today we have Donald J. Trump, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and yours truly, Elon Musk, here to talk about an exciting vision for the future, an affordable, sustainable community for the American people. Let's dive right into it. We're on the brink of something revolutionary. One of the key aspects of affordable housing that we've been working on is the boxable tiny house. Now, it's not just tiny in price. For around $10,000, we're talking about homes that can be mass-produced, set up in a day, and are completely sustainable. These are energy-efficient homes designed to be environmentally friendly, and they are larger than you'd expect, around 375 square feet, which includes a full kitchen, living space, bedroom, and bathroom, all modern amenities. At the end of this video, we'll showcase a brief tour of one of our boxable homes. Keep in mind, these homes start at $10,000, but the price will vary depending on the amenities and customizations the customer requires. Hello, everyone. It's your favorite president, Donald J. Trump. Now, before the big election coming up on November 5th, I decided it was time for a little upgrade. As you can see, I've swapped out my iconic hairstyle for something a little more permanent. That's right, I got myself a perm. They said I couldn't look any better, but I proved them wrong again. And these sunglasses, well, they just add to the whole look, makes me look younger, cooler, and dare I say, more presidential than ever. But now I need your help. I want you to drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Should I keep this fresh new look or go back to the classic Trump? Your voice matters. M-A-L-G-A. -A, make America look good again. I've seen these, Elon. They're impressive. You've got modern tech in there, energy efficiency, sleek designs, everything people need. And best of all, they can be set up fast. No waiting around for months. We're talking days. Now, I know real estate. I've built some of the most luxurious properties in the world. And let me tell you, this is a smart move. Fast, affordable, and beautiful. And hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us here today. I'm Digital Robert F. Kennedy, Jr., brought to you in another recreation by the brilliant minds of Chris Dallas. What I really appreciate about the boxable homes is their environmental impact, or should I say lack of it. These homes don't just reduce costs, they reduce waste and energy consumption. From what I've seen, they're made of steel and concrete with modern insulation that helps save on energy costs perfect for a sustainable future. And they're scalable. We could build entire communities around these homes, giving people not just shelter, but a healthy, environmentally friendly place to live. The energy efficiency is off the charts. We're talking about homes that can run off solar power and use only a fraction of the utilities that traditional homes need. People will see massive savings on their energy bills from as low as $28 a month. And these homes are modular, meaning we can stack or connect them to build larger homes, even multifamily units. And let's not forget, Elon, these homes aren't just for the rich. We're talking about helping people who need it the most. Imagine building communities for veterans, the homeless, or even young families just getting started. And unlike Kamala Harris's ridiculous loan ideas, where she's just putting people in debt, we give them real homes debt-free. Now that's how you build an economy. You create jobs, you create homes, and you give people their dignity back. And we do it all while protecting the planet. The materials used in boxable homes are fire-resistant, hurricane-proof, and built to last. We're not just talking about temporary shelters. These are our long-term solutions for people, solutions that also respect the environment. This is the kind of future we need, sustainable, affordable, and safe. That's right. These homes are as durable as they come, and they're adaptable to different terrains. You can set them up anywhere, whether it's urban areas, rural environments, or even disaster zones where people need immediate shelter. This technology could revolutionize affordable housing, not just in the U.S., but worldwide. And let's be clear, this is a winning plan. These homes are faster to build, cost less, and they're modern. No one wants to live in some rundown place, especially when you can have something sleek, affordable, and new. And I'll tell you this, when I get back in office, we're going to make sure every American has the opportunity to live in one of these homes if they need it. And unlike the Democrats, we're not going to saddle them with loans they can't pay off. We give them real opportunities. 
it's about dignity and long-term solutions. We're not just building houses, we're building communities that work for everyone, protecting our future generations. This is the kind of forward-thinking leadership America needs. Exactly. Foxville homes are the key to solving the housing crisis, not just with affordability, but with the latest tech that brings us closer to a sustainable future. Now look, housing is only one part of the equation. You give people homes and that's great, but what happens when they need to see a doctor and they're hit with outrageous bills? That's why we've got to make sure these communities have access to affordable health care. When I was president, we made sure prescription drug prices went down and we'll do it again. Health care doesn't need to bankrupt families. Absolutely, Donald. These communities should include clinics and health care facilities that provide preventative care. When we keep people healthy, we reduce the strain on hospitals and emergency rooms. And let's not forget about clean air and water. Environmental health plays a huge role in people's well-being. And technology can help here, too. We're already seeing telemedicine take off, where people can connect with doctors remotely, lowering costs and making health care more accessible. Imagine a community where residents don't need to leave their homes for basic checkups or consultations. We integrate that right into infrastructure. Look, you give people homes, and then you give them health care good. But what about the future? You've got to give people skills, jobs, education. These communities could include top-tier training centers where people learn the trades or tech. We need more plumbers, electricians, and coders. When I was president, we brought jobs back, and we'll do it again. Exactly, Donald. Education is key. We can build schools and vocational training centers within these communities. I'd like to see us invest in local apprenticeship programs where people can learn sustainable building practices or even environmental sciences. Uh, we need to be forward thinking. Technology can make this even more efficient. With internet access and the right tools, we could give people in these communities access to world class education. They don't need to attend a uh, traditional vocational school. We can provide online learning platforms where they can learn at their own pace, acquire new skills, and work remotely. Let's not forget the infrastructure. These communities need to run on clean energy. And we've already got the technology for that. Solar panels, energy storage, and electric vehicles, these can all be part of the community's design. We could have fully electric transport systems running on solar power. No fossil fuels, no pollution. You've got the right idea, Elon. Infrastructure is key. We need reliable roads, energy grids, and internet access. No more war. Waiting around for bureaucrats to approve every little thing. We get it done fast, and we get it done right. These homes, these communities, they need to be connected, strong internet, fast transportation, and no delays. I'm great with that. And we need to make sure that infrastructure doesn't harm the environment. That's where renewable energy comes in. We need to build with the future in mind, not just for convenience today, but for sustainability tomorrow. If we combine renewable energy with efficient housing and electric transport, we're setting up a future where people can thrive without damaging the planet. What you are talking about here isn't just an American solution, it's global. Imagine boxable homes being set up in developing countries in areas affected by natural disasters. We can bring clean, affordable housing to places that have never had it, and we can do it fast. The modular design means we could ship these homes anywhere in the world, set them up in days, and give people shelter in the future. I like that. This could be bigger than just America. We could lead the world in affordable, sustainable living. Nobody does it better than us, right? If we can build these communities here and make them a success, other countries will follow. And guess who's going to help them do it? We are. We could export this model and make it a global standard. Yes, we could sh show the world how to build without destruction. These homes could go up areas where people need the most, and we could combine it with environmental restoration projects. America should lead by example. This plan, it's a winner. We've got the housing, we've got the jobs, we've got the health care, and we're doing it all sustainably. Kamala Harris's loans are nothing compared to what we're offering here. And this isn't just about today, it's about the future. A future where every American has the opportunity to live in a great community with no debt weighing them down. We've got the technology to make it happen now. This isn't science fiction, it's real. The homes, the infrastructure, the energy, it's all ready to go. We just need to start building. And we need to do it in a way that preserves our planet for future generations. These communities could be a blueprint for how the world should live affordable, sustainable, and healthy. It's about building a future where everyone can thrive. It's clear that the future looks bright with leaders like us three working on solutions for affordable, sustainable living. This is more than just a housing solution, it's a vision for the future. Affordable, sustainable, and efficient, 
a powerful contrast to the policies we've seen so far from Kamala's camp. Stay tuned for more discussions on how we can make this vision a reality. And don't forget to subscribe to Chris's channel because nobody puts out content like this and Chris tells it like it is. And um, while you're at it, please like this video and share it as well to help spread the message. And together we can build a better tomorrow. We're all out of here now. See you all real soon. You say you're for the people, but we all see through. Kamala, Kamala, America don't need you. Flags wave high, standing with Hamas, watching freedoms die. You smile on stage, but the truth's in the dark. Selling out our country just to make your mark. Talking about equality with Julie folks behind. Stranded in the system, justice so blind. You were DA once, thought you had it all. But your house of lies is bound to fall. You let 30 million pour across the line. A boat wide open just wasting our time You say you're for the people but we all see through Kamala, Kamala, America don't need you No, 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 no Loves that communism, red flags wave high Standing with Hamas, watching freedoms die You smile on stage but the truth's in the dark Selling out our country just to make your mark Talking about equality, but you leave folks behind Stranded in the system, justice so blind You were dirty million for across the line A border wide open just wasting our time You say you're for the people, but we all see through Kamala, Kamala, America don't need you No, 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 no Games of pretend, a leader for the people, not just for her friends. America's cry needs someone who's true. Kamala, Kamala, that someone ain't you. You let 30 million pour across the line.